Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, hey there, it's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. Welcome to your July monthly readings. Hey, July, all right, we're in the middle of the summer guys, it's great. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Happy birthday to all the Cancers out there. Um, I, this is, today is what? Today is the 8th of July. So we are still in Cancer season. So I hope you guys are all enjoying your birthdays, uh, your birthday season. And to all the Leos out there, your birthdays are coming up. So I'll say happy birthday to you guys now, but we'll get to that next month, yeah? Um, so I did something a little bit differently this time. I wanted to get into the energies first before I started reading for them. I'm not so keen personally on forecasting, on fortune telling. I tell people all the time I am not a fortune teller, okay? I'm more about um, understanding the current energies and bringing clarity to them to help you you know, make the best decision for yourself moving forward. So that's why I waited a little bit before um, I release I put out the, the July monthlies. Also, if you're seeing some smoke, don't worry about it. <laughs> My apartment's not on fire. <laughs> I'm just burning some sage, yeah? Um, let's see, anything else? These are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, if you would like a personal reading, I am very much available for that. You can go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Um, num, 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 num. I think that's it. So what I'm doing with this, the readings this month, I am using the Golden Universal Tarot for the, you know, the general message. And then I'm also getting Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns and the Crystal Mandala deck. And uh, when it comes to the Crystal Mandala deck, I am um, focusing it on, yes, bringing the message forward, but also putting forth the intention that there, whatever crystal comes out, if you feel uh, guided to purchase that crystal so that you can work with it, I highly recommend that you do so. Yes, 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 that's always a fun thing to do. And yeah, I believe that is it for now. So let's get into the reading, yeah? Yay! Hey Cancer, welcome to your reading for the month of July. Thank you so much for joining me. I wanna say a very happy birthday. As I'm recording this, this reading, we are in the Thick of Gemini, or not Gemini, I just did the Gemini reading, excuse me, of uh, Cancer season. <laughs> so happy birthday to you guys. Much, much love. I hope you're enjoying your birthday month, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get into your reading for this month. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Cancer for the month of July. Thank you so much, Spirit. <clears throat> so I'm picking up on some light blue energy. And to me, that's just lightheartedness, celebration, Hanging out with friends, having, you know, fun, lighthearted conversations, blah, 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 you know, just en enjoying this birthday time of it. So great. That's great, Gemini. Oh, wow. Cancer. I'm so sorry, Cancer. Cancer, Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Give me just a second here. Let me make sure I'm just channeling this correctly. <laughs> Cancer. So now I'm getting some green energy. So heart healing, um, healing in general. You be, you could be coming out of a pretty traumatic situation, um, and now you're healing from that. Uh, cancer. We've got a flyer. Cancer. We've got the Knight of. I'm sorry, the Page of Swords. Someone's watching you, Cancer. And you may not be too happy about it. Like you may be aware that this person is like all up in your shit. And you're just like, can you go away already? <laughs> like, you already cut me off or this, that, whatever, blah, 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 acted a fool. And now you want to come back around and, like, check me out, see what's going on with me? Nuh uh Uh-oh. We've got another flyer, Cancer. The High Priestess. 
you ain't saying shit. You are keeping to yourself. You're getting downloads. You could be getting downloads from the universe right now. You know, you could be very much in your intuition. You know, Cancer is a water sign. You are very intuitive. But you're not saying a damn thing about anything. And here comes this page of swords buzzing around you like a fly. And it's like, man, get out of here with that shit, yo. Like, damn. How about you make up your mind? How about you be like, look, either you want to talk to me or you don't. And if you don't, Buzz off. Mm -hmm. I hear you, Cancer. I hear you. Okay, fine. All right. We're going to give you one more shuffle, Cancer. Cool. Cool, man, cool. My ears are ringing. Mm. All right. Overall energy, Cancer. We've got... The Five of Cups. So there's regret. There's remorse. Uh, I really feel like this is someone else's energy towards you. Because they done fucked up, didn't they? You might have too. You might be in this energy too of like just being all up in your emotions about something. Um, feeling really regretful and remorseful. You don't really have to. Now you could have done something, Cancer. I'm not going to say you, you didn't. You could have. But you don't have to have done, been the person who's done, quote, wrong in order to feel this energy, okay? But this is active for you right now in some way. Or this is active in the person, in that, that, that page of swords that's been buzzing around you like a fly. You've got the ace of, no, I'm sorry, you've got the magician. So either you or someone else, it could be this person that's in the five of cups energy that's connected to you. They could be trying to manifest something with you, which is why they're picking up the page of swords energy because they're trying to figure out how to do it okay or you're trying to figure out how to do it we've got the seven of cups in reverse no more illusions no more well i got all these options let me four 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 on the counter let me like you know play the field a little bit nope why because someone has made a decision with the two of wands or someone is about to make a decision now again cancer this could be you you could be in this Five of Cups energy because you played around too much in the field and now you see that you don't have these actual options that you thought you did and so now you're trying to manifest something with the magician. Now you've made a choice with the Two of Wands. Or this could be someone else around you. Yeah? All right, cool. Let's get into your storyline. We're starting off with the Queen of Pentacles. So someone is very much wifey status. This very well could be you, Cancer. Or you could be seeing somebody else this way. This person that you may have overlooked with the Seven of Cups here thinking, nah, let me just, let me just, you know, shoot the shit for like five more minutes. Yeah? Five minutes too long, buddy. Because now the Queen of Pentacles could be gone. She ain't, she ain't got time for that shit. She knows what she wants. And she's solid in it. If you're not solid too, she ain't got time for you. She's not trying to play that game. Queen of Pentacles is coupled with the star. So whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, to the other person that's on the outside looking in, they are definitely their wish come true. And this is why they're in the Five of Cups energy, because they play around too long. And so now this Queen of Pentacles could be gone. Gone! Like, so gone. Like, like Monica, so gone. So gone over you. Like, for real, though. No, like literally, that song is perfect right now. So Gone, Monica, check it out if you don't know it already. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm just listening to the song in my head now because it's, it's one of my favorites of hers. But anyway, So Gone. We've got the Four of Cups in reverse. So someone is not rejecting this offer anymore. Someone is not taking someone for granted anymore. And I bet you it's that queen of pentacles that's all up in the stars somewhere. Mm -hmm. Four of wands in reverse. Four of cups in reverse and the four of wands in reverse. But see, they're not taking them from granted anymore, but y'all got to rebuild this foundation now. Because somebody was playing too many games. And I really feel like this queen, 
I'm literally seeing this Queen of Pentacles taking a, a jackhammer, a, a, a sled, whatever, like a fucking, you know, those big truck, those big, like, dang construction vehicles with the, the scoop on the end of it, just destroying that foundation. Bow, bow, bow with a jackhammer. <laughs> destroying that shit. And leaving bare earth underneath to build something new and better. Because whatever that foundation was, whoever was taking someone else for granted, man, that foundation was shitty. All right, cool. So rebuild. You did it. I mean, this is falling underneath the magician here. So you have the power to rebuild. The queen of pentacles, even though she, she destroyed that foundation because it was not suiting her, she is upright. And she is coupled with the stars. So she's still that wish fulfillment, but whoever's in this Five of Cups energy needs to do some work. And you know the Queen of Pentacles is all about the physical work. The hands-on blood, sweat, and tears. That is the only thing that is going to prove to her that you are, in fact, her King of Pentacles. The only thing. You can talk all you want. You can have all the passion that you want. You can have all the logic in the world of how this is perfect. I don't give a shit, says the Queen of Pentacles. I need you to show me that this is it. And how are you going to show me? You're going to do the work. Just like I'm going to do the work. Don't you think I'm going to sit back here on my throne and watch you slave away, blood, sweat, and tears, like I ain't got no work to do? This is a two-way street, boo-boo. All right, cool. Moving forward. We've got justice. So now the scales are being balanced. Somebody got humbled. Falling up right under the Seven of Cups in reverse, guys. Justice is coupled with the <laughs> Eight of Swords. But because this justice is coming into play, somebody feels trapped. Because it might be, you might feel trapped, whoever this is, because you don't think that you can like break yourself out of this place that puts you here to begin with. But you can it's just going to take some work. It's just going to take some effort. But that effort is well appointed under the eyes of justice. Someone, this could be the, with justice and the eight of swords, someone um, could be karmically bound to something because of, like this could be justice's ruling. Like, nah, you're going to stay here for a little bit. And you're going to be trapped in your head. And the only way you're going to get yourself out of it is if you clean it up. That's what justice could be saying. This is on you and nobody else. So if you want change, you have to make it. Which is making you feel even more stuck. Whoever this is. <laughs> Moving on, we've got the hanged man. So okay, this is that justice in action. Self-imposed isolation. A timeout. You're grounded. <laughs> that's literally that's I, it's funny because I've never really experienced the, the hanged man like that before but literally I'm getting the energy of you're grounded queen of pentacles she just grounded your ass mm -hmm. you in the dog house buddy you sleeping on the couch tonight <laughs> and I'm laughing because I'm just trying to make light of it like I'm literally just trying to throw things out there that make light of it because it does this is pretty heavy but Anyway, the hanged man is coupled with death in reverse. So you're grounded because you're in a process of transformation. All right? So just because you've been, you're being punished, just because you're grounded, just because you're in the doghouse, you have to sleep on the couch, it's not the end of the world. It's really just because you're in the middle. Somebody is in the middle of a transition, transformation. Okay? Okay. Moving forward, we've got... Ooh, the emperor in reverse. Somebody was being manipulative, narcissistic. Mm. With, ooh, the lovers. Ouch, 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 ouch. That's some nasty karma, guys. No wonder whoever is getting their ass handed to them with justice is in an eight of swords state because they manipulated someone that is very, very connected with them on a soul level. literally chose vice over virtue and not only just chose vice over virtue and moved forward like continued to twist the situation all just to be in their favor 
Why? Because they didn't want to give up this Seven of Cups energy. Nah, man, I got my options, yo. I got to play the field. I got to be a baller. I got to play. I got to, yo. All right. You want to do that? This is what you get. Justice and the Eight of Swords. And ain't nobody cutting you out of this Eight of Swords shit. Just like Justice said, that's on you. So you want to get out of it? It's your responsibility now, bro. Sis, whoever I'm talking to. Yo, but oof, somebody manipulated the hell out of the situation, man. And it was, it is not cute, was not cute, and never will be cute. Ever. Moving forward, we've got, yeah, look at that, the Three of Cups in reverse. So there was, now this is not the Five of Wands, but I just feel like there is a, there is a social influence here that is not healthy, or at least was not healthy. And there's that Page of Swords again. Someone could be trying to gain information from social media, and that's not the way to do it. Because social media is a lie, y'all. I don't care. I don't care if you're dealing with the most truthful and honest person you know. Ultimately, social media is a lie because it is only what people want you to see. Even if they're spewing out some, like, how they're hurt or how, you know, just throwing out some negative stuff. They're going through a rough time and they're talking about it. They are still only telling you what they want you to know. They're not giving you the whole story. So if you really want to learn about somebody, step up to them and get it directly from them. Stop getting your information from third parties who don't even know the situation, the situation to begin with, who probably aren't even talking to this person you're trying to get information from or about. Like, damn. You want information? Go straight to the source. Stop relying on people who don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Okay? All right. Moving forward, we've got the Nine of Swords, and it's in reverse. So this is good. Okay, so, all right, cool. You've got the Eight of Swords up here. Right below it, you've got the Nine of Swords, but the Nine of Swords is in reverse. So this is you releasing the anxiety and cutting yourself, whoever this is, cutting yourself out of this mental prison or on the other hand it could be you stuck in anxiety and sleepless nights because of this mental prison you've now been put in because of the justice that came out but ultimately we've got temperance all right we've got balance we've got patience and we also have twin flames. That's literally what I just heard. There's, other than the lovers here, there is really nothing else to indicate. Oh no, and the four of wands. Other than the lovers, the four of wands, just, uh, um, sorry, not justice, uh, temperance, maybe the star, maybe. We really don't have anything else to indicate twin flames or divine partnerships. But when temperance came out, I literally, I literally just heard twin flames. So okay, we could be dealing with that. But ultimately, this is the universe asking you not to beat yourself up, not to stress out, not to lose focus is what I just heard. Because ultimately, whoever, whoever I'm talking to here, ultimately your job right now is to allow temperance to do its thing, to allow justice to do its thing, allow yourself this time out, this punishment, this grounding, being locked up. And I'm not talking physically. We could be talking physically. We could be. Somebody may have gone to jail, okay? But ultimately, on an energetic level, you're like in an energetic prison, even a mental prison, because justice was served. So now that justice has been served and is in the process of being served, now that you're in this process, whoever this is, of moving through, because you also have the hanged man, that's self-imposed isolation. Someone really could have gotten locked up, but that's not everybody. Whoever I'm talking to here, you may not be in a physical prison, but you are in an energetic or a mental prison because you're going through this transformation. So as you go through this transformation here with death, the universe is asking you to be patient with yourself 
and allow the universe to work its magic to help you heal. Okay? You still have to do your part, but you are also being asked to let the universe do its part. Okay? Okay. Finally, we've got... Yeah! Yeah! The Eight of Pentacles. So somebody's doing the work. Most likely that person I was just talking to. Could be you, Cancer. Could be someone connected to you. Eight of Pentacles with... Excellent. The five of pentacles in reverse because they don't want to be out in the cold anymore. Cancer, this could be you. You don't want to be out in the cold anymore. So you're actively doing the physical work that you need to to make sure you're not left out in the cold anymore. This could be someone else that you put in the doghouse, Cancer. Rightfully so. And now, because they don't want to be in the doghouse anymore, because they don't want to be in this five of cups, I'm sorry, five of pentacles in reverse anymore, because they're feeling this remorse of the five of cups, now they're doing the work with the eight of pentacles. Upright. Boop. All right, y'all. Let's get into the unicorns, yeah? Oracle guidance for Cancer or a cross watcher from the unicorns. Here we go. Action. Now is the perfect time to act. To, yes, take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. And that is what we were just talking about with the Eight of Pentacles, taking action. It's time to do the work. It's time to act. And I am being called to pull from the bottom of the deck here. We've got awareness. Boop. What do you think justice is doing here? Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. So as your awareness grows and deepens and strengthens, the more action you can take. Okay, so really take it to really use this time of self-imposed isolation to really uh, uh, boost your awareness, to really see things as they truly are. Yeah. What's underneath the deck here? Oh, right, the two of wands. Okay. Um, and now some uh, Crystal Mandala deck, Oracle, um, and if whatever comes out here, whatever gem, crystal, or stone comes out, if you feel called to acquire one to help you because you want to work with it this month, I highly encourage you to do so. Cancer, there it is. Her Golden Grace, ooh, Goddess Lakshmi, and Dendrit, Den, Dendritic, Dendritic Agate. This is a gorgeous card. And Lakshmi is one of my favorite deities. She is the goddess of abundance. Yes? Okay, let's get into the book. Card number 38. <laughs> Again, we could be talking twin flames because card number 38 does boil down to an 11, guys. Boop, boop. Okay. Her Golden Grace, Goddess Lakshmi and Dendritic Agate. We bring you the empowerment of her golden grace. Divine Mother Lakshmi, who brings blessings of enlightenment and prosperity, beauty and good fortune, smiles upon you now. Open your mind to the reality of divine generosity without limit. Open your heart to feel worthy of her love. When you allow her to grant you bounty, to bless you with her golden grace, she is empowered to shine her divine beauty in the world, to heal, uplift, inspire, and enchant the souls in need. If you are feeling as though there are limits in your life that you would like to transcend, perhaps in particular any limits you feel regarding abundance, prosperity, and good fortune, and spiritual enlightenment, then you will be open to the message this oracle gives you now. The Golden Mother includes you in her plan to spread the bounty of life throughout the world. As you receive from her, you will be empowered to share her vibrant grace with others. Open your heart to her golden smiling face and allow her love's abundance to fill your world. And honestly, for those of us, or I'm sorry, those of you, either cancers or someone so you're connected to cancer that are feeling this energy of being locked up, Goddess Lakshmi is here to help you see that there is abundance all around you. You just got to accept it, babe. Just let her flow in there and help you out because she wants to. She wants to help you heal. She wants to help you grow. She wants you to have this abundant life with this queen of pentacles that you wanted for so long but have taken for granted. Mm-hmm. 
All right, guys, there it is. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Much, much love to you all, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of August. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.